Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, then now you know. And you guys, today we're going to be comparing the Coach Pillow Tabby Bag to the Songmont Drippy Roof Bag. We're going to be going over the pros and cons of both and which one I like more. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello. I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kinsey. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot, but if any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask you to consider clicking the subscribe button and give us video a like and ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload and you guys without any further ado let's get an end of the video so yes you guys I thought that it would be a good idea to compare these two bags because I have compared my coach pillow tabby bag to the Songmont Luna bag so now I thought that it would be good to compare it to the Songmont drippy roof tote or drippy roof bag rather yeah I think they're both kind of comparable to one another so let's go over both of them here let's start with the coach pillow tabby bag as you know you've seen this bag a million times on this channel this is in the 26 size so coach does have a mini version of this that's an 18 size but this is 26 and if you've seen this bag before it has this really nice quilted puffy texture and then it has a gold brass C logo and then on this side it has a D ring with a hook for your shoulder strap same thing on this side nothing on the back it does have this cute little dog tag though coach dog tag and then nothing on the bottom so no feet on this bag on the inside when you open it up you do get a crossbody strap of course and then it looks like this on the inside so you have one open pocket in the back right here you have this zipper compartment and then your big pocket at the front swapping over to the Songmont drippy roof bag this is what it looks like here is the front it has the Songmont logo right in the front right there you have this really nice top handle situation that connects to these little wings on the side these wings are actually little pockets so if you want to put like your phone depending on the type of phone you have will fit on the side right here you can put your airpods and it's on both sides and then it does say Songmont again on each wing and then here is the back again nothing on the back of this bag either and then the bottom this bag does have feet this bag also comes with a crossbody strap i just don't have it here with me because the strap is still in the box that this came in i knew that i was not going to be wearing a crossbody so i didn't even take it out of the box but no this does also come with a crossbody strap on the inside here is what this looks like it has a really nice kind of chocolate brown lining and then it does have one slip pocket on the inside right here but then that's it no more pockets or anything inside this bag it's just that big open space and then you can definitely see that this bag has like this flap closure and it has magnets right here those little circles those are magnets and they're pretty strong as well i had a comment the other day asking if it was hard to get the strap up no it's not hard at all but it's not gonna fly up randomly without you knowing about it so it is strong but not like too strong when you get your stuff in there you have this really cool kind of slouchy silhouette so that is the overview of both bags now let's go into pricing of both bags so these are going to be relatively in the same price point starting with the coach pillow tabby bag unless this has gone up in price i still think that it's the same yeah so this on coach's website and pretty much anywhere else you find it, it retails for 550 dollars for the 26 size coach is a very well-known brand they do have like a legacy coach has been around for a very long time it is a pretty decent price point it is a little expensive but it is full of napa leather so it's not even like a grand leather it's napa leather editing kinsey here also I would recommend actually finding the Coach Pillow Tabby Bag on sale. That's what I did. I got mine on sale at Zappos for like half the price. Uh, it, so it retails for $5.50, but you can easily find Coach Tabby Bags or Coach Pillow Tabby Bags on other websites, Saks Fifth Avenue, Avenue, Nordstrom, Zappos, even Amazon sometimes, and they can be on sale. So if you can't look for a sale, I would totally do that so you don't pay the full price. Um, it does come with a crossbody strap. You can fully detach 
this strap as well if you wanted to. So if you wanted to wear this as like a clutch, you could do that too. So that is the price point on the coach bag. On the Song Mount Luna bag, it's going to be a little bit cheaper at $435. So with tax and shipping, probably around $450. So about $100 less than the coach. And this bag, again, is still very versatile. You have the top handle. You can also wear it shoulder or crossbody. You cannot take off this strap right here so you could not wear this as a clutch but that's really the only difference there this is a full grain leather and not napa leather so you can see that it has the grains so i think it just depends on what kind of leather you prefer they are a chinese based brand and they have just been doing fantastic they come out with so many cool innovative styles that have just exploded on social media and they're rapidly gaining a cult following so Love that about Songmont. Again, they are a little bit cheaper than Coach, but Coach has the legacy and they're the most well-known. So that just depends on what you like. Let's go over the biggest pros of this bag that I have come up with. <laughs> so one of the biggest pros of this bag, it is very soft. It is very squishy. I do think that it's a very comfortable bag. No matter how you wear it, if you wear it crossbody, if you wear it on your shoulder, if you wear it top handle, it's a very comfortable bag. I've never had any issues with it being too heavy or being uncomfortable. I do love that you can, of course, take off this strap if you want to wear this bag as a clutch i think that's very nice this bag comes in a million different colors so if you are somebody that you want a specific color they'll probably have it in the coach bag if they don't have it in the 26 size they'll definitely have it in the 18 size so if you are struggling with colors you don't need to worry you'll definitely find something you like if you like this bag this bag also fits a ton of stuff she's like a little mary poppins bag she is very spacious very roomy on the inside another pro of course it's iconic it's coach everyone knows about it everyone will know and recognize what this brand is if you care about that if you want something very recognizable and very well known this is going to be your girl because coach is everywhere coach is very successful you of course know about coach so there's that let's go into a couple of cons because i do have a couple of cons uh first con is going to be this stupid pocket on the inside i hate this thing i know every single time i talk about the coach tabby bag i always complain about this inside little pocket right here i can't stand it i think it's stupid i don't know why we have it in here i wish we could take it out to where it would just be one big open pocket that would make this bag so much better in my opinion it still does fit a ton of stuff but this bag could fit so much more if it didn't have the stupid pocket but that's one of my biggest cons with this bag also another con that i have is with the crossbody strap and maybe this is just mine but i did not get a little extra piece of leather to go on the end of this so i never ever wear this bag crossbody because i physically cannot stand this leather like flapping around everywhere i don't know i just hate it i wish i would have gotten that extra piece i'm sure it comes with it i'm not sure but with mine i didn't get it i don't think i mean i don't think i lost it but like i just don't remember ever seeing it i'm sure that's just with mine i think if you ordered the coach tabby bag or the pillow tabby then you would get that little extra piece of leather like you're supposed to but that's just my experience and that's honestly really all the cons i don't have any cons really regarding this bag either just those two moving on to songmont my biggest pros regarding this bag is that the style the design is so cool you guys it really gives like loewe puzzle bag vibes when it slouches in like this so i love that i love the intricate details of this bag i absolutely love these little flaps on the side i think that's so fun the inside let me tell you right now this bag i think fits more than the coach pillow tabby bag only because that coach tabby bag has that stupid zipper in the front like in the middle i think if it didn't have that then it would fit a comparable amount of stuff like i think it would fit the same amount but because of that stupid zipper in the front it does hinder the coach bag a little bit so this bag is just that big open space this bag fits so much stuff it is so roomy one of my most spacious bags that i have in my collection and this is not even the biggest size of this this is the small drippy roof bag they have a medium and a, a mini size that they came out with recently that's so stinking cute oh 
Why is it supposed to come off? I did not know those were supposed to come off. I feel so stupid. Here's the feet again. They're gold if you, if you saw that. I'm so dumb. I've had the plastic bits on. I did not realize those came off. <laughs> That looks so much nicer. Just like the gold bottom peeking out. Okay, that looks great. I'm stupid. Anyways, so that's a pro over the Coach Pillow Tabby Bag is that this does end up fitting more stuff. Now let's go into cons. One glaring con that I had with this bag is the crossbody strap. I knew that I wasn't really going to be wearing this bag crossbody anyways, but when I tell you that I took off the crossbody strap when I got this bag, when you buy this, it comes with the strap already connected. Uh, at least it did in my case. So I tried it on crossbody, didn't love that, took the strap off, and guys, I cannot for the life of me get that crossbody strap back on this bag. <laughs> I know it's me, it's a user error, I just don't know how to do it. I'm sure I could look up a tutorial as to how to put the crossbody strap back on, but I feel like that's kind of a hassle. With the Coach Tabby bags, it's just little clips. It's very easy to do. So that's why I kind of just gave up on the crossbody aspect of this bag because I know I'm not gonna carry a crossbody anyways. I love top handling this bag, but I do wish the crossbody strap was easier to put on. And I guess this could be a con depending on who you are. Um, this bag is relatively not unknown, but it is less known because Sogmont is still a up and coming brand. I don't think they're in like department stores or anything yet, like Nordstrom or Saks. I think you can still only buy them from Sogmont.com. So once they get into department stores, I think they will be widely more known. So if you are somebody that really wants like an iconic bag, if you want people to know that you're carrying a coach or carrying a Marc Jacobs or whatever, then you might want to stick with those fashion houses because they are so well known. They have the backstory. They have the legacy. They're just very successful and well-known brands. Also, this could be a con depending on who you are as well. This bag can get heavy that I've noticed. This one right here, the coach, doesn't tend to get that heavy if you put your stuff in it. Of course, with any bag, the more you put in it, the heavier it's gonna be. But I don't know what it is. Maybe the coach like distributes the weight better or something, but if you are packing stuff in here, I have noticed that this bag can become a little bit hefty. So if you're someone that likes light handbags, this one also may not be for you. It's not like a boulder or anything. It's not insanely heavy or anything. I just noticed that it is a little bit on the heavy side. Now I think we can get into when you can wear these bags. Like, are they more for formal wear or more for casual wear? When it comes to the Coach Pillow Tabby bag, I think this can actually be either. I think this bag is very versatile in that way that you can wear this to like the office or wear this during the day, especially if you have a lighter color. This color, the black, honestly does tend to be more of a formal, I guess not really formal but like nighttime bag or maybe even like a autumn winter bag because it is black. I know black is all year round but because it has this puffy texture I feel like it does lean more towards autumn winter and with it being big and black I do think it leans more towards daytime. I think that you can take the strap off right here and wear it as a clutch if you really wanted to for nighttime. But if you're gonna do nighttime, I'd probably recommend getting the 18 size. It's about half the size of this one. And I think it leans way more to being like a formal kind of evening bag. It's so cute. I think this would absolutely work for like an everyday handbag. But this one can be dressed up if you really wanted to. If you wanted to have a bigger clutch, you can take the strap off and wear it as a clutch for nighttime if you wanted to do that. This one, on the other hand, I feel like really only leans itself to the casual wearer. This one I feel like is very fun, it's very intricate, it's like kind of carefree. So I do think that this one is mostly going to be a casual bag in my opinion. I guess you could if you really wanted to take this on like a night out, but I do think that the color of this one in particular, this one's in the color ivory, um, leans more to being a casual bag. But again, I think this one could absolutely be a everyday handbag because it fits so much and it is very easy to carry. Again, this one does come in a mini size. So if you are interested in carrying it at nighttime or for like an event or like a dinner, then I would recommend looking at the mini size. So yeah, if you do like this bag, I would probably say this is great for like going out to lunch, this is also can be a good work bag going to I don't know run errands or something I don't think this would work very well to go to like a fancy dinner or go to like a formal event or anything like that 
But yeah, you guys, that's been my comparison today of the Coach Pillow Tabby Bag and the Songmon Drippy Roof Bag. Let me know in the comments which one you like the most. I think they fit in different categories, but I think that they are both fantastic handbags. Let me know in the comments which one that you prefer, if you like the Coach Pillow Tabby Bag more or the Songmon Drippy Roof Bag. Just leave me a comment down below telling me anything, because I'm nosy and I want to know that. But you guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and then subscribe if you want to and be sure to ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload and you guys I'll see you in the next video bye